Hey guys, Chris Story here. Today I'm going to take you through why Geelong in season 2021 have the most OP list I have seen since their list from 2007 through to 2010. And before I start, I thought I'd also mention that later in the week I'm hoping to get up a video featuring my super coach and AFL fantasy teams for the 2021 season. Um, so this is a big, this will be a big thank you for you guys helping me to my subscriber goal of 850 subscribers for the preseason. So um, yeah, I'll make sure it's a good one and I'll cover off not only on those guys who have made my team, but also those that I gave strong consideration to and I think are perfectly viable and sound selections in their own right. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy that as well. So having made the effort as I do each preseason to sit down and watch all nine games, the team that actually stood out and I found most interesting was Geelong. So Geelong against Essendon, their play wasn't at all spectacular, but there were some signs in there that really made me think about Geelong's list and think that they've really got something there. So obviously over the off season, they've added Jeremy Cameron, Isaac Smith, Sean Higgins fantastic pickups. Jeremy Cameron, star key forward, clear top five key forward in the competition. You could say he's in the mix for the best key forward in the competition. But what does he achieve practically in Geelong's context? Well, he allows Danger to push back into the midfield and dominate where he dominates really better than just about anyone in the competition. So um, huge get there. Isaac Smith adds much needed outside pace and run. So phenomenal get, adds substantial value. And then you've got Sean Higgins, another midfield addition. You can play him inside, you can play him outside, you can play him across half forward if you want. He just adds substantial class, big time ball winner. There's a lot to like there. He's another, he's a third player in terms of new additions that's gonna have an impact. But even beyond those three guys, there are three guys who were on the list last year who they weren't part of the grand final squad for Geelong, but these three in particular for me can really elevate Geelong and their premiership chances for this year. So firstly, Jordan Clark, looking at his game and seeing just the sheer run that he provided, the run and dare and dash against Essendon, oh gee, you can't leave this guy out. He, Jordan Clark is someone who was essential to Geelong's success in season 2021 and with the new play on rules or sorry the new man on the mark rules is someone who's just really going to be able to take advantage and may even be that number one guy for Geelong who can take advantage of it so he was taking the kick outs against Essendon even hitting the scoreboard but just seems like at every possible opportunity he was taking on the game with his run and that's an element again as I mentioned with Isaac Smith that's going to add a great deal of value to Geelong's best 22 and add a really unique and different dynamic there. But then moving on, Tom Atkins, I was very, very impressed by his play in defense. As a forward, look, he could provide a bit of pressure, he can win the ground balls, but it's not really hitting the scoreboard, not really a much of an option inside 50, so he wasn't doing all that much towards winning. But looking at him in defense, I only needed to see one game, and my opinion already is Tom Atkins can be one of Geelong's very best defenders in season 2021. So he's got the one-on-one -on -one strength, he's got the ground ball winning, but he can also provide some rebound and drive from defense. So I think he's going to prove to be a very balanced defender and really add a great deal of stability and quality to Geelong's defense. So um, that's another substantial upgrade right there. And then lastly, so we've got Josh Jenkins. So with a Jenkins, he's someone where as a key forward for a period of five or six years there for Adelaide, he was averaging two goals a game every year. And there weren't many players in the competition that were doing that. We're in single digits over that period who were doing what Josh Jenkins was doing. So very capable and very good key forward, underrated in my opinion. So he's someone where in my opinion, he should have been playing as a key forward last year who would be relieving a Reece Stanley through the ruck. What benefit that would have had would have been Blitzards could have stayed back where he plays his best football, and then you could have Danger up more through the midfield where he won a Brownlow medal and is at his most influential. So that would have been great last year. Of course, Geelong decided against running with that structure. So um, this year, look, seeing him against Essendon, he showed enough signs to suggest 
even with Cameron being added, even with Hawkins in the front half, even if Stanley's the number one ruck, look, maybe Jenkins could be another player who can add additional value to the best 22. He was underutilized last year. Maybe he can make it work this year. That's, I guess, for me, a wild card name and a wait and see, but he's someone where if things work out, he could really be a difference maker and a, quite a surprise packet to a lot of people. So don't sleep on Jenkins yet. Give him a chance. I want to see him for a run of games. If it turns out Geelong are too tall, having Cameron, Hawkins, and Jenkins together as key forwards, well then fine. Jenkins can always be dropped if need be. And then you could always have, say, a Hawkins as that, I guess, backup ruck for those very limited minutes as absolutely required. And make sure as a matter of priority that Blitzarv stays back where, again, he plays his absolute best football. So, and if Geelong can find a way to fit all these guys into their best 22 and utilize them correctly, then my tip for this year's premiership would be Geelong go all the way. Even with a Richmond having youth that I actually think will get stronger, even with a Brisbane adding the likes of Danaher, who greatly increases their I guess, forward 50 options and really makes their forward 50 potent. And then you've got a Port Adelaide who are much better with an Alir Alir, Razio Fantasia. Any of those teams are premiership chances. But with the addition of these first three names and the upside of these last three, I've got Geelong at this stage. And just looking at them on paper, it is absolutely ridiculous. Just when you put all the names together as a group, oh, I would be afraid if I was another team facing Geelong. So, but of course, Geelong have to utilize their players correctly, have a game plan that I guess allows all these players to work together in harmony as a Richmond have done just absolutely incredibly over recent years. So they're the questions that Geelong are going to have to answer to prove that they can be that team. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for future updates. And um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'll be releasing my super coach and AFL fantasy teams over the coming days and producing a video around those players that not only are in my team, but also those that I've had in the mix and I think are also very viable selections. So um, that's something for the fantasy community since it's, I guess, that time of year where fantasy football is the big thing. But I'm also planning to produce a lot of, I guess, AFL draft content over the coming weeks. I'll be producing some regular AFL related content. So if you're into all those sorts of things, get behind me. It'd be really appreciated. And um, in the comments section below, let me know, do you think Geelong in 2021 have the most OP list in recent times or Perhaps is there a team on paper, maybe a Richmond or maybe a Port Adelaide or Brisbane or whoever the case may be, may have a more potent list potentially. So that would be interesting to hear also. So anyway, thanks guys and see you on the next video.